guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here karibu sana my name is doris and i share my general setup videos among others here on youtube so if you find it interesting give it a like comment down below subscribe now hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos i just started off by showing my january setup though i didn't share it i thought a flip through would be fair game all right then allow me to take you through my february setup i'm starting off with a quote and it is a lesson that i have learned in the beginning of the year and it is something that we could all practice it is the ball game season at least for secondary schools over here and i thought i'd honor my teenage self by sharing what i loved during that time i was so passionate about basketball i dream about the game plans i'd train rain or shine and also in a way uh honor my then teammates, Liz, Sophie, Elaine, Rulia, whom we finished the same year. So that is my cover page. I have a month header and a ball on the side. Here I'm setting up my monthly overview page. Usually I'd have this across two pages, but this month I decided to change it up a bit and just have it on a single page. What I'll have here is just a grid of 3x6 boxes and after this I'll just place all the days of the week and then the dates and then I'll follow this up with a monthly header and a doodle on the side for the basketball to keep up with the theme. That's it. Next is my habit tracker page. I lost my flow somehow in January, so this is my way of uh, getting back to my old self and getting my groove back. So I'll be tracking just a few things uh, to keep up with, with myself and to recalibrate. So that's what I'll be doing here. I have, I have just individual trackers. I have been loving these ones of late, so that's what I'll be using here. I, all I have is uh, boxes. Uh, representing each day of the month which is 29 days after that i'll just place in all my headers and then to keep up with the theme i have a cot on the sides after which i will just uh, date all my boxes so that i don't lose track of the dates and that's just it The mood tracker is next in form of a basketball court that has plenty of basketballs, 29 to be exact, representing each day of the month where I'll just have a basketball in, uh, representing each day and this is what I will color in different colors uh, representing the mood or the dominant mood of the day. Number these and then place the key on the side to make sure that I have everything in order and then that's just it. Next is a quote or picture or meme that I found on Pinterest that I really loved. And yes, there was a time that this was my life. I would just eat, I'd sleep, and I'll think, dream, play basketball. Next is my gratitude and brain dump pages. I keep this very simple with minimal doodles. I love having these pages clear and clean uh, just for anything that may come across. I do not want to have a lot of things cramping in there. I played around with color and ended up using a biro pen to highlight the lines so that you can actually see them. And I think it turned out just fine. If you've been keeping up with my bullet journal videos and journey, you know I have got to have my meal plan page, just week headers and the days of the week and a doodle to keep up with the theme. That's it. Next is my adjective page. I hope to keep this up throughout the year. I will have 12 of these uh, in various places of my journal. It's something like a power word that I want to embrace and have. 
um, I don't know, were you able to spot my January adjective? Uh, maybe you can comment in the comment section down below and let me know. Finally, I am setting up my first weekly spread for the month of February and by now I have had enough practice drawing this ball so yeah, it's kind of interesting. It's not that easy to draw them but yeah, I think I hacked it. All I have is just my week header and the days of the week and the days of the week and of course you number your own work. And then here's my final flip through. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. You can also share and subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching. Until the next video, be easy. Bye. Have a good one.